you guys ready? Hi everyone, welcome back to Import Hookup Channel where stock is always boring. My name is KBH. Today guys, I have with me a 2021 Mercedes-Benz G63. I'm gonna show you all the mods that we did to this car. Let's check it out. So guys, basically this car has a complete package from Wild Japan. The front bumper is changed to a Wild Japan front bumper. Look at this. It looks so badass. And we accented it, it with a satin black finish and a gloss black finish. It will be too boring if we left it all gloss black. So we made this satin black, we made this satin black. And the, the rest are gloss black. I like this design, the Pan American grille. All the modern Mercedes Benz has this design, and I love this grille. It's one of the best looking grilles, in my opinion, for a car. So, all the GT cars has this. Almost all Benz has this, and I like the design. This is chrome, and this headlight is chrome as well. So, we changed this to a black headlight. This is called the Bonnet Scoop. This is an add-on that we stick and we installed. We painted this black, then this has the satin black accent as well. This hood bonnet is from Wild Japan as well. It comes with a package. Also, we installed the front spoiler, which has all the, these lights. It's all LED and it's so bright, guys. Maybe I can do a sample right now. Here, you can see that. <laughs> it's so bright, especially at night. So yeah, this is the remote, it comes with it, IPF, 4 wild, yeah, very, very nice. Then we go to the highlight of this car, which is the wide body fenders, front and rear from wild as well. It makes the car look so wide, guys. So we installed as well the wild Japan wheels. This has a 2953-24. See how thin it is, but it rides so good still. I like big wheels in this channel and we put the biggest wheels that you can install. 24 inch, finished in satin black and polished silver. I like the, the contrasting colors. So basically the color combination for this car is satin black, gloss black, and polished silver. So all the rivets, I made it exposed silver guys. Also, did you notice? The car sits low. This is one of the first or the only G63 which has the lowering springs from H&R and looks way way better in my opinion, lowered. So the owner really likes his car low, all his cars are lowered and I mentioned that I have lowering springs for this SUV and we installed it right away. I love how the G63 looks guys. It's super retro, but this is a more modern version of it. And I love how the door sounds. It's like a bank vault type of sound. It's very unique. Actually, this car only produces this kind of uh, door sound. Yeah, got that. And you, you really need to put, put effort to close the door. Then, we have here the wild exhaust tips. Three tips oval which has the wild logo the wide rear arches same as the front 
also the tire measurements of the rear is also the same we didn't make it wider it's just all four corners are running on 295-30-24 I'm very very OC with the stance and fitment of the wheel so it's sitting here but we want it to sit a bit more flushed so that's why we ran some space also this comes with a package this is a roof spoiler and we installed the black bison it's actually called wild black bison guys so if you're wondering what's the meaning of this it's the body kit name from wild then we installed the wild logo here and lastly we have the rear bumper so it has the color combination as well gloss black and satin black We're inside the 2021 G63 AMG. I really, 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 really like this car. The more I use it, the more I like it. The engine is producing 577 horsepower and 627 torque. Can you believe, guys? This is bone stock. It has a 4-liter V8 twin-turbo engine. And it sounds so good. <laughs> the exhaust has two sides so both passenger and the driver can hear everything equally this has a 9-speed automatic gearbox it feels fast like 0 to 60 of this is 5.6 and from the weight and the the dimensions of this car it's pretty fast already the infotainment is huge guys this is the gauge so we're at sports plus mode then you can do sport then comfy comfort mode you can select all with this button toggle button so yeah you can see everything here the display is very bright and high resolution you can see the data when you do a pull up how many new there? <laughs> oh, also the oil uh, temperature and the water temperature and also this I, I think this is better first time I've seen this well I first time I've seen this in the G63 look boost so when you do a pull it will go to the max level then you can see the G meter as well yeah. This is the main mouse and you can toggle everything here. I like this. You can to toggle the suspension. We're in the hardest setting. Maybe you can put it in the comfiest setting. You can see the front camera from here. See, see those cars? Front camera with the with the car. So at least you can park it properly and not bump the car in front or at the back. It's a huge car. So left and right side. You can see the gutter, so you don't scrape the 24-inch wheels. <laughs> Rear, see those cars. The sound system of this is amazing, guys. It's Burmeister. The clock is IWC, guys. And IWC is hot right now because of the Top Gun movie. The old one, I don't really prefer using it because it drives like a truck. This drives like a car, guys. It's very luxurious and it's very comfortable. So they updated everything here. Double wishbone suspension. The rack and pinion of this is very modern. So it's kind of quick. Also, the suspension is very good. Right now, we're at the most comfiest setting. And you can make it firm. But I never make it firm. There's no point. Not for city driving, yeah. And also, even for 24 inch, it rides so good. I, I was debating the other day, what is a better car that suits me a g63 or uh, an urus comment in the comment section below actually right now i can say i'm leaning towards this maybe 60 percent this and like 40 percent urus because this is a much all-around car and an suv that you can use with your family 
with your kids comfortably and it has a power and presence and it feels safe inside the car because everything sounds like it's built the build quality is really good one thing that i don't like about this car is the brakes it lacks the brake feel and it lacks the bite that's the only thing that i don't like about this car which we can upgrade and import to cup i have a big brake kit for this car i have ap racing or brembos that i can install or brambos yeah so i think it's a good option to have if you have a g63 you can upgrade the brakes this is an aftermarket steering wheel guys it's nice to have a carbon steering wheel perforated and also i match the center ring to match the trims this eats gas a lot and the gas prices now is through the roof it's so expensive if you put more power it means it eats more gas at import hookup we are a true car enthusiast and we modify cars to its maximum level and maximum potential because all the customers all of my clients they want to personalize it and that's why they modify it comment in the comment section below if you have questions in the future maybe you can put it in the comment section we'll provide you more answers to your comments I'm the wild distributor for the Philippines. Just hit me up at Facebook or Instagram. Also, show some love by liking and sharing our videos. I would really, really appreciate that. So that's it for today's episode. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!